this is not just a Filipino story because obviously we have Magellan, we have we have Lorenzo, Lorenzo we have Enrique here. So this will also be a story of the uh, of the, the, the Spanish heritage uh, of the Philippines. So this is a global story that you know we have Filipino stories on the forefront. Uh, we will be uh, really you know this is a really collaboration of Latino and Filipino Americans with a special participation of the Greeks from Australia, you know, with, with process right here. So uh, this is a great honor for all of you out there, for all of you online. This is for the honor and the glory of our brown race. That's my message, that is as I said. Thank you very much. Of course, we have here this is the end of the history. So good morning. But of course, we can also hear the inspiration by the director and Mr. Lucky Lucky accepted such a way, sir. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll do that one. Uh, the first time that you guys did here, uh, this is a story that we've been talking to for so long. Uh, same as me in 2008, I had a book given to me about the stories of Filipino heroes. One of those about them, and I wrote to you about them. It would be great fun. And I always saw that, um, uh, so I always saw that Lapa Lapa was like the great part of William Wallace. So I read, okay. The, and the time, you know, we've had to wish we uh, represent um, the Pumpkin culture. We have an amazing movie with Samurai and Saving Private Ryan for American War Heroes. People who kind of said, you know, that my grandfather was in that movie and fought in that movie before. Or my, you know, my family had come from that Hawaiian heritage or Samoan heritage or this. And it was a Pumpkin Massive Samurai. But we've never heard a lot about the Pumpkin War Heroes. And uh, it's always been in my heart to tell those stories just like Francis as well. Uh, when we met, we, we shared that same love to embrace the culture of the Philippines. So that's the reason why I took this song, because it was a no-brainer because I've been able to do this my entire life. I've been advocating for the Philippine community since 2000 when I became Power Ranger. Um, every role I've gotten would start off with a Caucasian audition. When I got the role, they always forced me to be Latino. But I always fought and tried to be Filipino. And see, now we converted Danny Trejo to be Filipino. So uh, he was wearing a Filipino hat yesterday, so. <laughs> but, um, you know, they never allowed me to play a Filipino in the movie. I always had to play that movie. But I always. So my mom is still from Felipe. And I've never been able to embrace that on a global level. Uh, I'm honored to be the 14 on the top 50 list of American celebrity Filipinos on my IPG, right under the list, Longo and Blue Diamond. Dr. Uh, Boston and I have been advocating with Filipino community artists in, in the America. We used to have group meetings that started at 5 to 10 that led up to about 70 to 80 people, which is how I met Bruno Mars, but brought me to the Philippines the first time when I performed with him at Aeronetic Coliseum. Since then, it woke my brain up, and I said, wow, I really want to make a future here in the Philippines. So why I'm taking this private on is because from this point on, my wife and I have actually dedicated our next 15, 20 years to doing Filipino movies, doing Filipino stories, embracing my culture, producing and directing movies in the Philippines about Filipino stories. And because I'm proud to be Filipino. And I am proud of my heritage, and I want the entire Philippine community to know that I want you to know I am Filipino, and I'm proud of the Philippine. And from this point on, we have to take the, the stories of the Philippines to the highest global level possible, guys. And that's my vision of, 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 of our company, of the future of what we're doing with Philippine stories. Now, the mission of this movie, I will touch on, it's such an amazing opportunity. I stand behind myself when I actually get to work with an incredible legend like Danny Trail. I've been a I've been a fan of him since my dad and I first watched Con Air. And I said, Dad, it's so scary. I remember watching him in that movie and like was terrified. And now you know when when, when Francis and I were talking about his Magellan. And I know that back then it was ancient Europe, but the European Spaniards were more Caucasian looking. But for me, when you hear the word Spanish, who's the teacher? Who's the teacher? Oh, I said, Danny Trejo reminded me of this guy. We had other options. 
wanted to bridge the gap between Hollywood and Philippines. I personally did not know who the Amy Bay Alonzo was until Sir Francis told me. Bay Alonzo, she stopped. So I started watching her movies and, and, and Googling her. I'm like, wow, she's got more followers. She's got 10 million followers. And she's a huge star. I'm walking in the mall, seeing pictures of her everywhere, like posters. And, but that's the thing, guys. A lot of people here do not know who I am. Thank you. 